Finger Lakes is one of the most beautiful destinations in the whole world. I've been falling in love with this place my entire life and it continues to surprise me. Today I'm going to show you some places that are incredibly special to me. So come on, let's go explore. My name is Lynn Phillips. I run a local blog called Sriracha Says. It's all about helping others fall in love with Rochester and the Finger Lakes area. Born and raised in Rochester, the Finger Lakes have always been kind of my second home. I came here as a child. I got married in the Finger Lakes. I have so many memories. Hiking is one of the best reasons to visit the Finger Lakes. We're here at Grimes Gun Park in Naples, New York. And we're gonna go on a fun, accessible hike together. The great thing about this hike is that it's so family friendly. The terrain is pretty flat and it's a pretty short hike, but be prepared to get your feet wet. The real reason you wanna to come to Grimes Glen is because of these waterfalls. Long before the Finger Lakes started making wine, they've been growing sweet table grapes for so many years. We're here at Monica's Pie, an institution where they make the famous grape pie. Hi. Hi, Monica. How are you? Good. How are Good you? Good to see you. So I'm a huge fan of your grape pies. Good. I've been coming here for years. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I always tell all of my friends that you can't visit the Finger Lakes without going to Monica's oh, and getting nice. your killer grape pie. Thank you. That's <laughs> nice. Would you like to see how we make them? I would love to. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Now, what makes your grape pie different? <laughs> okay, this was my mother's idea. Grape pies ordinarily are real hard to get. Done on the bottom, the crust, mm -hmm. and baked in the middle without the whole thing running over in your oven because they're really juicy. So she had the idea to make the filling ready to eat and bake the crust. So Monica, tell me about how you started making these pies. Well, we had some grapes of our own and I thought, well shoot, I can make a pie. I put a picnic table out there and we sold. <laughs> A lot of pies that year. People have been coming Here we ever are, since. <laughs> 37 years later. So Crispy I bake the crust, crust yep, yep, and then we bake around. Then and you we get make two kinds, yep, right? We make crumb top, which is a, a crumbs that we make here. It's oats and graham, brown sugar, butter and cinnamon. Mm. There you go. Looks so good. Now that is delicious. Good. Thank you, Monica, for taking me through your pie making. I love visiting you in Naples, and I can't wait to come back and visit you again. So, well, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Thanks for coming. If you're looking for the ultimate farming experience, there's no lack of options here in the Finger Lakes. We decided to go off the beaten path and visit Hemlock Ridge Farm. They specialize in everything from dairy to livestock to even flowers. So let's go check them out. Hey, Jesse. Hi. Good. I love your farm. It's absolutely beautiful. Tell me a little bit about what you guys offer here, what you grow. The first thing we do primarily is we're a dairy farm, certified organic. And a few years ago, I got the idea to start a farm store to make our food a little more accessible to the public. But you have these incredible flowers over here that you specialize in too, yes. right? This is my favorite part. It's like the produce we do because we all need to eat. Mm -hmm. This speaks to the soul. Yeah. I would love to see where your garden is and pick some flowers with you. I'd love that too. How did you get into the flower business? Well, really all my life I've grown flowers and my aunt taught me about decorating and I'm just passionate about it. Gardening is my favorite thing and arranging flowers is even more so. Here's the yellow. That looks great yeah. with your shirt. Making my own little bouquet over here. I feel lucky that the Finger Lakes is in my backyard. We have these farmers who care about the quality and like the sustainability mm -hmm. of their practices. This area is very passionate about good food and good quality and feeding families from the farm. Mm -hmm. So we're thankful to be a, a small part of that. The Finger Lakes are known for their world-class wines, their Rieslings, their Gewürztraminers, their Pinot Noirs. And we're here at the winery that sparked the revolution, Dr. Constantine Franks. 
Megan, how's it going? Hey Lynn, great to see you. Great to see you, thanks for having us. Absolutely. Will you tell us what's going on for this upcoming harvest? We're about four weeks out from harvest. You can see these beautiful Chardonnay clusters here. So Megan, your great grandfather actually planted these vines, mm -hmm. right? He actually immigrated here from Ukraine. He was a well-respected researcher and scientist. So it was thought to be far too cold mm -hmm. for these very delicate European varieties. He was the first to say, actually, it's due to a pest. And so what he did was he grafted American rootstock, which is naturally resistant to this pest, joined it together with the Nifra, the European species. And that was really the key to his success, bringing these premium varieties to the region. My great-grandfather was very giving with his knowledge. The region has really exploded with quality producers mm -hmm. and why the Finger Lakes is seen as one of the foremost wine-producing regions in the U.S. So what do you think? Is it time for tasting? I think it is, let's go. Let's do it. So we have our dry Riesling mm -hmm. to start. Riesling makes up the majority of what we produce. So let's have a taste, yeah. cheers. Cheers. <laughs> it's bright and it's mm -hmm. crisp. Riesling is so transparent mm -hmm. upon where it's grown. So that really contributes to a very mineral focused mm -hmm. style, very citric, very fresh. Mm -hmm. A lot of Great wineries in this region are making different reds, but this is a unique varietal that you guys have. Mm -hmm. So how do you pronounce this one? This is called Separavi. It's actually an ancient variety from Georgia. It has a very strong spice kind of character and still a nice elegant acidity. So it's really our wines pair very well with different types of food. Mm -hmm. And this is our Brut Rosé, Pinot Noir and also Pinot Meunier variety from Champagne. Mm -hmm. And it's actually grown just below us here. Oh, yeah, wonderful. Delicious. Mm. Going into the fall, I love a nice dry rosé too. Mm -hmm. Isn't it exciting time to be here in the fall? Absolutely breathtaking here, especially this view because you see you know, the reds and the orange and the yellow colors melding together. Well, Megan, thank you so much for having us. I loved exploring the vineyards with you mm -hmm. and tasting your wine. It was an absolute pleasure. Please come back and visit us soon. Sure will. <laughs> Great. <laughs> the reason why I love the Finger Lakes is because everything is at your whim. Watching the fall foliage or exploring a new trail, so breathtaking. It's a really special place to be. In more recent years, the Finger Lakes are really making a name for themselves and starting to get the recognition that they deserve.